going to begin our 60 minute beginner chair yoga here in just a moment. So I'd like you to start by making sure that you have comfortable clothing that moves with you and a good sturdy chair with no arms and that means that when we push down on the seat or the back it will not tip over or collapse. And uh, preferably no shoes or socks. You can wear socks if your feet get cold and shoes if you have orthopedics but just be aware if there's a slip risk for you where you are. So when you're ready, I'd like you to come right to the edge of your seat and we're going to line up uh, our lower body first, heels under knees, knees lined up with hips, and then we tuck the tailbone, firm up the core, roll the shoulders up, back and down, open up the chest, lengthen the neck and tuck the chin. Let's take a deep breath in all the way down to the base of the spine, closing the eyes. And exhale completely, feeling the body supported by the seat and by the earth. Now just for a moment, bringing your attention to today's class, let's make ourselves that promise that we will never push too hard, and of course that we'll honor any feelings of restriction, especially through the joints as we move. And now just resting here for a moment, I'd like you to set your intention for this class today. So whether you'd like to gain flexibility or deepen your levels of peace and mindfulness, it's all up to you. Whatever you're looking for today, just set that intention at the beginning of our class. Now let's take a deep breath in. Exhale and open the eyes. Good. Okay, so we'll start with a little spinal roll down to begin loosening things up. Sitting up tall, deep breath in, extend through the crown of the head. Exhale the chin toward the chest and we'll slowly roll down one vertebrae at a time, relaxing the arms, relaxing the shoulders. The forearms can come to the thighs if you'd like, or you can relax all the way down, allowing the head to hang. And as you inhale, think of widening the back. As you exhale, just allow the body to relax down. One more deep breath in, exhale, and we'll tuck the tailbone, slowly rolling up one vertebrae at a time. Roll the shoulders down and back, and if you'd like, you can come with me and reach the arms out to the sides and overhead, extending toward the sky. And then we'll release down through prayer and release the arms. Great. We're going to do that again, and this time you can decide if you'd like to keep the hands resting on the thighs or reach the arms out to the sides and overhead with me. Inhale, arms reach up. Breathe in deep. Exhale and we'll fold forward, relaxing down over the legs. So again, your hands or your forearms can come to the thighs. And in this forward fold, and as we reach above the body, we'd like to notice if we feel dizzy or nauseated, because this is our first gauge of where our blood pressure is today and what we have to work with. Let's take a deep breath in. Exhale, tuck the tailbone, slowly rolling up one vertebrae at a time. Roll the shoulders down and back. Reach the arms up to the sides and overhead, or not. Now we'll release down through prayer and release the arms. Great, so let's bring the arms now and just uh, relax to the sides and we'll roll the shoulders up, back, and down. Sitting up tall, keeping that core nice and strong to keep our alignment straight. And breathing with the movement. Good. Now let's bring that whole arm up, back, and down one side and then the other. Good. So as we move through our practice today, just a reminder that it's your responsibility to pay attention to your joints and your muscles and ligaments and tendons and nerves and notice how you feel at any given time. Okay. And you're going to choose to increase or decrease your intensity based on the options that I give you here. And if what I'm doing here is not comfortable for you, um, no matter what modifications I offer, then feel free to adopt whatever pose is comfortable for you at a given time. And of course, you can always just have a seat and breathe deeply and smile. The purpose of yoga is just to bring together the body, mind, and spirit and be a little bit more in the moment. Anything we get beyond that is just a bonus. One more time here, and we'll come back the other way. Reaching back, up, forward, and down. I'd like you to really extend those fingertips toward the front wall and move slowly and see if you can get that stretch through the middle and upper back. Good. Breathing, lengthening. Notice how your shoulder feels. If it's getting tired, you can decrease your range of motion. Of course, if there's pain, it can be lower down as well. Good. One more time right here. 
Great, and release the arms, and now we'll just do a quick cat dog from seating. Sitting up tall, hands to knees, deep breath in. Exhale, curve around. Inhale up, lift, look up, shoulders down, elbows in. Exhale, curve and round. And we'll come back from neutral. Excellent. Okay, so now coming into a little spinal twist. Bringing the right hand to the right hip, left hand comes to the right knee. Inhale, extend through the crown of the head, suck the belly button toward the spine, and we'll exhale and look out over the back shoulder. Now first, we're not going as deeply as we can into any stretch on our first breath. We're bringing that first breath in just to ease a little bit into maybe the first third or two thirds of that movement where we know we can go. And then we're noticing our form from here. So we wanna make sure the spine stays straight. We never let the chest or the shoulders cave in. And those knees, hips and ankles remain aligned. We don't let that left hand pull the right knee toward the left knee. Good, now if you feel ready for a little more, you can release that right hand to the seat of the chair or to the back of the chair, or you can reach out in line with the shoulder. Shoulders are wide. As you inhale, think of expanding the rib cage. As you exhale, relax a little deeper into that stretch. Good, and feel free to move around in your stretches. So as long as you're prioritizing that long, straight spine and neck, you can bend the chin down toward the chest or the ear toward the shoulder one way and then the other. Good, just make it yours. One more deep breath in. Exhale, look forward, square the shoulders forward and we'll grasp the knees, curving and rounding the spine as we exhale to release. Then inhale up, lift, look up, shoulders down. Exhale, curve and round. And come back to neutral. And now coming along to the other side, left hand to the hip. Right hand comes to the left knee. Inhale, extend through the crown of the head, lengthen the spine. Exhale, look out over the back shoulder and allow your shoulders to follow. So again, remember, we're squeezing our core to ensure that our knees and hips remain squared forward and the lower back does not twist. We're twisting from the belly button to the crown of the head. Shoulders are way down. The left hand can come to the seat of the chair or to the back of the chair, or you can reach out in line with the shoulder if that's something. Good. Just notice where you can relax as you exhale. Good. Tuck that right elbow in toward the body if you'd like a little more. And make sure that uh, that left knee isn't pulling in. Good. One more deep breath in. Exhale, look forward, square the shoulders forward, and we'll grasp the knees, curve it around the spine. Inhale up, lift, look up, shoulders down, elbows in. Exhale, curve and round. And come back to neutral. Excellent, so now let's come into the lower body. Sitting up tall right at the edge of our seat, resetting our position and grabbing a drink of water anytime you need one. Let's bring the right knee to the chest and we're going to grasp just underneath the knee or under the thigh, or you can leave that foot all the way down on the floor. Rotate the ankle around in a circle. Now here we're looking for our postural correction. Contract the muscles of the back, good, especially the middle back and lower back, and we don't want any tension at all high up in our traps. Good, lengthen the neck, tuck the chin. Great, now you can flex and extend that foot toward the ceiling and the floor. Breathe deeply, relax into the stretch as much as you're able. And we're also using that muscular contraction to train our body into a perfect posture so that later on it will be easier to get there without thinking about it. And now when you're ready, you can cross the right shin over the left thigh, or you can cross the right ankle over the left ankle. We'll draw that leg into place, sit up nice and tall, make sure you're even across both hips on the seat, and then we'll arch our lower back up toward the sky and see if we can find that stretch in the right hip. Shoulders are down. Elbows in. Inhale and extend through the crown of the head. Exhale, tip from the hip. Lengthen through the center of the chest, through the collarbone. Good. And notice how you can deepen that stretch without compromising your form. So the arms are strong, but we don't ever bring that tension up into the neck and shoulders. Our core is strong, the spine is long, we're arching the lower back. And then when you're ready, you can release that right shin across the left thigh, letting the knee drop out to the side. 
Make sure your left heel is still directly under your knee and the knee is lined up with the hip. So we never want to let that foot buckle in. And of course, you can always come down to crossing the ankles if that's more comfortable for you. Take a deep breath in and sit up tall. Exhale, tip from the hip. Press forward through the center of the chest. Good, lift your tailbone up toward the sky. Breathe, relax into it as much as you're able. And now if you'd like to take this a step further, you can relax down, bringing the forearms to the shin or releasing the arms down alongside the, the, the body. Just keep in mind that if you let the arms hang, then the weight of your body is going to come down onto that leg. So we're just being mindful of how the knee and the hip on that side feel. Breathe deeply into the muscle you feel stretching, and as you exhale, ask it to relax. Great, now let's come on back up. And we'll release the leg, just flex and extend for now to reset that knee, and we'll replace that right foot on the floor, now coming along to the left side. Left knee comes into the chest, and we'll grasp just below the knee. Sit up tall, roll the shoulders down and back, tuck the elbows into the sides of the body, brace the muscles of the back, and we'll rotate that left ankle around in a circle. Breathe. Notice where you can relax. And remember, if your foot is down on the floor, we never lose contact with the floor. So we can be rolling around on the ball of the foot and just lifting the heel, leaving the ball of the foot down. Now we'll flex and extend toward the ceiling of the floor. Elbows tuck in, core is strong. And now let's cross that left shin over the right thigh. Make sure that your supporting leg is still aligned here, knee, hip, and ankle. And then we'll draw that leg into place and straighten the spine first. So you can cross that left shin over the right ankle if you'd like. Yeah, and just relaxing into it. See if you can get both hips nice and even from side to side on the chair. You might not get there today. We're not forcing anything. We're just aiming in that direction and looking for the stretch through the left hip and thigh. Good. Great. And now we'll release that left shin across the right thigh, letting the knee drop out to the side. And of course, you can always bring those ankles down. Sitting up tall, deep breath in. Exhale, tip from the hip. Lift your tailbone toward the sky. Relax the neck and shoulders as much as you're able. Good. And again, just consider breathing deeply into the muscle you feel stretching. And as you exhale, ask it to relax. Good. You can rock from side to side to deepen your stretch if you'd like, if that's comfortable for you. And we breathe. And now let's sit up and we'll release the leg, flex and extend. Excellent. Now coming back up to spine and upper body for a moment, sitting up nice and tall, we're going to come into our half moon. Grasping the right side of the chair with the right hand, shoulders down and back, sit up tall, deep breath in, left arm reaches toward the sky. And we'll exhale and bend, dropping the right shoulder down toward the hip. You can look up toward the sky if that's okay for your neck and shoulders, otherwise look toward the floor. Remember that your top hand can come down to the hip or behind the back anytime. Good, and if you're reaching up above, we're bringing that top arm as close as we can to the ear on that side. We tuck the right elbow in toward the body so that we can properly place that right shoulder. We don't want it popping up toward the ear. As you inhale, think of expanding the left rib cage. As you exhale, just ask the body to relax down, looking for into the stretch. And we make sure we're always even across both sides of the body on the seat. Good. Now let's inhale and come up. Exhale, release the arm, grasp the knees, and we'll curve and round the spine to reset. Inhale, up, lift, look up, shoulders down, elbows in. Exhale, curve and round. And come back to neutral. Excellent. And now we'll grasp the left side of our chair. You can shift to the side slightly if you need to. And we're making sure again that our feet are flat on the floor, heels, knees, and hips all lined up on a straight plane. And we'll start by sitting up tall. Inhale the right arm up toward the sky. Extend through the crown of the head. 
Exhale, tuck that left elbow in toward the spine. Expand the right side body and rib cage. Press your left shoulder down. So we're looking for the stretch right through that right rib cage, maybe into the muscles of the back um, that are next to our spinal column. And we are feeling no pain at all in our spine, in our shoulders, or anywhere else. Suck your belly button in to firm the core so that our lower back stays safe. And remember that that top hand can come to the hip or behind the back anytime. As you inhale, lengthen through the fingertips. As you exhale, relax. Good. Now let's inhale and come up. Exhale, release the arm and the grasp the knees, curve around the spine to reset. Inhale, up, lift, look up, shoulders down, elbows in. Exhale, curve and round. And come back to neutral. Great. Now let's turn to the side in our chair. And we'll come into a little warrior series. So sitting up nice and tall. And um, we're grasping the back of the chair with the right hand. The right side of the body is on the chair. The left side is off the chair. The left hand can come to the outside hip. And we'll just drop that left knee down underneath the hip. And I'd like you to tip forward and place the elbows or the hands on that front thigh. And then straighten out the back leg as much as you're able. So now in this pose, I'd like you to first find the stretch through the calf and the Achilles tendon. So through the bottom part of that back leg is what we're looking for here. And we're tipping forward from the hip because if we come up high, then we're going to hyperextend our lower back and we want to avoid having that happen. So try and get your body to the same angle as your back leg and really focus that stretch. Good. Tuck your tailbone a little bit. You might also find the stretch in the hip flexor on that left side. Nice deep breaths. Relax downward. Good. And now let's come on up and we'll bend that back knee back down underneath the hip. Sitting up tall and you might have that back knee come forward a little bit. What we want to make sure of is that we do not have the back foot turned to the side and the knee collapsing in because that will compromise your joint. So as much as you can, make sure the back foot is pointed forward, even if you have to flip it over and come onto the top of the foot. So we're sitting up tall, tucking the tailbone, and then we're going to straighten out that back leg as much as we're able to without hyperextending the lower back. So I want you to really tuck that tailbone. And when you're ready, if you'd like a little more, you can reach up with the arm on the back leg side or with both arms. Remember that this chair is still here for your balance and stability. Make sure that you're not leaning on the back of the chair in order to get deeper into this pose. We want to see if we can find our space nice and solid in the center here. Breathe. Relax your shoulders down away from the ears as much as you're able. And I'd like you to feel your strength and your stability in these warrior poses too. Find your focus, focus your gaze on anything that's not moving and notice how your body feels. Notice your breathing. One more deep breath in. Exhale and release the arms. Bend the back knee and we'll turn the back foot at 90 degrees to the front foot. It can point out in whatever direction is comfortable for you. What we want to make sure of is that we never collapse that knee. Okay, so our leg is nice and straight and strong. You might need to point it out in front. You might need to point the knee toward the ceiling and the toes forward, and that's fine too. And then from here, we're going to reach out with both arms in line with the front leg, regardless of where that back leg is pointing. As you inhale, think of extending through those fingertips. As you exhale, relax the shoulders down. Breathe. If you'd like to deepen your stretch here, you can turn the palms toward the ceiling and press the thumbs back behind you. Remember too that you can always bring the hands to the hips or behind the back if that's more comfortable for you. Good. Lengthening toward those side walls if you're reaching out to the sides. One more deep breath in. Exhale and release the front hand or elbow to the front thigh. Swing the left arm down across the front of the body and open up toward the sky. So again, here we're looking to lengthen that space between the hip bone and the bottom of the rib cage and also up into the ribs. If you'd like, you can come up onto that bottom hand. This is not okay for your lower back especially. 
And of course your top hand can come to the hip or behind the back anytime. Check that your bottom shoulder is down as far as it will go away from the ear. Good. Lengthen through the fingertips. Open up the side body. And breathe. Good. Now let's inhale. Come up. Shift around in your chair to make yourself more comfortable here. We want to make sure that left leg can get straight. So you might have to move forward because if you're back even a little bit, that knee is going to bend. So just make sure you can extend it fully, whatever that looks like to you. And we're going to flex that left foot back toward the body. Sitting up nice and tall, hands come to the bent knee, and we'll tip forward from the hip, lifting the tailbone up toward the sky. Now, you can bring the elbows down to that right knee, if that's comfortable for you, just to rest here, so that our shoulders are not shrugging toward the ears. Now, from here, I'd like you to think about rotating that leg from the hip. So just find that movement. You're going to see the foot move, but we're freezing the ankle, we're freezing the knee, and we're moving everything from that hip socket. And when you do that, with the foot flexed back toward the body, you're going to notice that extension in the side of the leg coming through the back of the thigh into the inside. And just notice how that changes your stretch. Lift your tailbone up toward the sky and feel that extension deepen. Good. And now we'll come on back up and release the leg. And we'll come along to the other side. So turn it all the way around in your chair. Grasping the back of the chair with the left hand. The inside half of the body is on the chair. The outside half is off the chair. Outside hand comes to the hip and the outside knee drops down underneath the hip. Sitting up nice and tall, shoulders down and back. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, we're gonna tip forward, bringing the hands or the elbows to the front thigh and straightening out the back leg. So again, looking for that extension in the calf and Achilles tendon. If you're not finding the stretch in that lower leg, then it might be because you don't have enough ankle flexion back towards you. So you might want to bend the knee, then place the toes, and then straighten the leg. And that's going to give you much more length from the heel to the back of the knee. Good. Keep those shoulders wide and notice where you might be tensing up a little bit. Relax as much as you're able. Breathe deeply. And now let's gently press up and we'll bend the back knee as we rise so that we can make sure that spine is properly placed. Make sure your back toes are pointed forward. You can bring that knee further forward anytime. And from here we're going to straighten out that back leg as much as you can without hyperextending the lower back. And then reach up with the arm on the back leg side or with both arms. You can push into the soles of the feet here, finding that alignment across the hips. Good. Notice where you can relax. And just breathe into that warrior one pose. Remember, again, those hands can come down to the hips, they can come down to the knee or the back of the chair. You can bend the back knee if you want to. You can remove the pose altogether and just sit and breathe deeply and smile. So remember, it's just all about that connection, that focus. Great, one more deep breath in. Exhale and we'll release the arms, bend the back knee, turn the back foot at 90 degrees to the front foot and place it wherever is comfortable for you. So again, you can extend it out at 180 degrees to the front foot or you can bring that leg in front. The one thing that we don't wanna see here is the collapsed knee, the inside of the ankle on the floor and the knee bending inward. So we want a strong leg here. And then we're gonna reach one or both arms out in line with the front leg. Extending toward those side walls if it's comfortable for you. Good. And if you'd like to deepen that stretch through the upper body, turn the palms toward the sky, relax the shoulders down, press the thumbs back. Good. So I just want you to take a moment to breathe deeply into the rib cage, into the belly. As you exhale, relax wherever you can, smile, and just notice how it feels in this pose, in this asana, your body in this space. Breathing deeply. Good. Find that mindfulness. Feel the soles of your feet on the floor. One more deep breath in. Exhale and release the front hand or elbow to the thigh. Swing the right arm down across the front of the body and open up toward the sky. So lengthening through those fingertips, looking for that extension through the right side body and rib cage. Pressing your bottom shoulder down away from the ear as far as it will go. 
And remember too that your left hand can come to the thigh if that's more comfortable for you. Breathe. Relax into that stretch. Good. Now let's inhale and come on up. And we'll release the arm, grasp the chair, draw the leg in. Straighten that right leg right out in front and adjust as necessary to get there. We're sitting up tall, relax the shoulders down and back. Take a deep breath in, hands come to the bent knee. Exhale, tip from the hip and lift your tailbone up toward the sky. And now from here, if you'd like, you can rotate from the hip, freezing the knee, freezing the ankle, coming through that movement to find that deeper extension through the thigh and the calf. And now we'll release and come back to center. Good. So centering ourselves to the edge of our chair once again. Heels under knees, knees lined up with hips, and we're just going to reset with a little forward fold. Sitting up nice and tall, inhale, arms out to the sides and overhead. Exhale, fold forward, relax down. Just let the head hang, feel the back release. If you feel dizzy or nauseated, you can bring the hands or the elbows to the thighs. Good. Nice deep breathing always. Okay, and now let's walk the hands back up. And we're going to come through a little chair sequence to standing. Okay, so again, right at the edge of our seat. And here we're going to um, be doing a lot of lower body. So you can remain seated in your chair and just come through the muscular contraction, or you can rise up and come back down with me. So here we are with perfect alignment through the lower body and a nice straight spine with the shoulders down and back and relax. Hands can come anywhere except on the thighs or on the chair. Okay. Take a deep breath in and tip forward. Exhale, push into the heels, maintaining that alignment as you rise, and we'll come to standing. Good. Now let's inhale down, back down to the chair. Just touch down. And we'll exhale and push into the heels, slowly coming up. So I want you to make sure you're close enough to the chair that you feel comfortable sitting down without touching it or looking at it. And again, we'll inhale down nice and slowly, maintaining that alignment, knees, hips, and ankles. Don't let them buckle in. Just touch down. And then we'll exhale, push into the heels. This time, push into the outsides of the feet too as we rise. Good. Now we'll stand and we'll hold on top just for a moment. You can work out the ankles or the knees or whatever you need to do. And now we're going to come into a little uh, sequence with our Utkatasana, our chair pose. So find the soles of your feet now that we've come to standing. And if you feel like you might be a little concerned about your balance, you can stand in front of a wall and have the chair behind you or just have another piece of furniture in front of you. So standing tall, let's inhale, arms straight out the front. Exhale and sit down into your imaginary chair, just an inch or two above your real chair. Hold here for a moment, push into the outsides of the feet, check the alignment through your knees, hips and ankles. Make sure you don't let the chest cave in or drop the chin. Good, take a deep breath here. Exhale and we'll push into the heels and stand tall, release the arms and work out the ankles. Good. Now you can stick with that movement. Of course, you can always come back down to your chair and simply push the heels into the floor to engage those same muscles. Now when you're ready, we're gonna come into one more variation. Finding the soles of our feet once again. This time, inhale, arms out to the sides and overhead or straight out in front. Now we'll exhale and sit down into our imaginary chair. Suck your belly button toward the spine. Feel your strength here. Good, we wanna feel this through the back muscles, through the glute muscles especially. Push into the outsides of the feet. Good, one more deep breath in. Exhale, push into the heels, stand tall. And release the arms, great. Work out the ankles, and we'll come behind our chair for a little bit of balance. We're going to begin with a forward fold. That'll be our best indicator of where our blood pressure is today. So standing nice and tall behind your chair, finding the four corners of our feet. So you can do that by just rocking back and forth across the balls of the feet and the heels and settling nice and evenly in the center. The tailbone is tucked, core is strong, shoulders down and back, chest proud, neck long, and chin is tucked. Take a deep breath in. Exhale the chin toward the chest and we'll just slowly roll down one vertebrae at a time. So I want you to really feel that, just an inch at a time. Really feel those muscles start to relax as you come down. 
releasing the hands or the forearms to the back of the chair or to the seat of the chair, or you can relax all the way down toward the floor. Relax the arms, relax the neck. Widen the back as you inhale. Shift into the heels and lift the tailbone toward the sky as you exhale. Good. Now let's inhale and bend the knees slightly and we'll roll up one vertebrae at a time. Roll the shoulders down and back. Reach the arms out to the sides and overhead if it's comfortable for you. Little baby back bend on top. And we'll release down through prayer. And release the arms. Excellent. Okay, so now coming into our balance options, once again standing nice and tall behind or beside your chair or another piece of furniture, it's always going to be there for our balance, but we want to make sure that we're not just leaning on it as much as possible, we're using our own strength and stability. So standing tall, finding the four corners of our feet, let's take a deep breath in, exhale and come up onto the toes, and now we'll reach one arm or both arms up toward the sky, relax your shoulders down away from the ears. And I'd like you to find a focal point, anything not moving, and that will help you to keep your balance. So just fix your gaze. And we're just holding here, feeling those little muscles of the lower legs contract. Good, one more deep breath in. Exhale, down onto the heels, and we'll release down into forward fold as long as it's comfortable for you. So you might stop here, or you might relax all the way down toward the floor, or somewhere in between. And now let's bend the knees and we'll roll up one vertebrae at a time once again. Shoulders down the back, reach the arms up to the sides and overhead if it's comfortable for you. Release down through prayer. Good, and relax the arms to the sides. We're going to come into one more balance variation uh, with a chair option. So let's take a deep breath in. Exhale, lift up onto the toes. Once again, you can reach one arm or both arms up toward the sky. I would say keep at least one fingertip on the chair for now. If you want the intensity option, you can bend the knees and sit down into a chair pose with the heels lifted. So again, don't lean on your chair. If you need both fingertips on the chair, that's fine. We're looking to maintain that alignment. You can bring your heels down to the floor anytime. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, push into the balls of the feet. Come on up, reach for the sky. And then we'll release the heels down and fold forward. Again, hands can come to the back of the chair, the seat of the chair, or you can relax all the way down the floor. Good. Breathing deeply always. And then one more time, we'll bend the knees, roll up one vertebrae at a time. Roll the shoulders down and back, reach the arms up to the sides and overhead, little baby back bend. Now release down through prayer. And release the arms. Great, so now we're going to come through a modified crane pose. I'd like you to stand so that the back of the chair is on your left side. That's going to be your supporting leg, and we'll be bringing the fingertips to the chair on that side first. This allows us to stand nice and straight and tall, whereas we'd be bending forward if it were in front of us. So, finding the soles of our feet, let's shift to the inside leg, so the leg on the chair side, and now that outside knee is going to come into position. You can hold it here with the hand on the hip, you can place the toe on the floor, or you can grasp underneath that knee or under the thigh with one hand or both hands. And we're just going to sit up nice and tall, suck the belly button toward the spine. Take a breath. Exhale, notice where you can relax. Good. Or push into the sole of the foot a little bit more. One more deep breath in. Exhale, and we'll release the leg. Work out the ankles, work out the arms, whatever you need to do. And you can turn around so that you're on the other side and we'll bring that right fingertip to the back of the chair. Standing nice and tall, shoulders down and back, we find the soles of our feet. And now let's shift to the right side and bring that left knee into position, grasping with one hand under the knee or under the thigh, or just holding the leg in place or even just leaving the toe on the floor. So single leg balance is really our first priority here. And then everything else should move around that. Find your focus, fix your gaze, lengthen the spine, press into the sole of your supporting foot, breathe, one more deep breath in, exhale, release the leg, and work out the ankles, excellent. We're going to come back to balance in just a moment after a quick wide-legged pose just to relax our legs a little bit so that we're not working too hard. Step the feet out, wider than the legs of your chair, preferably. Take a deep breath in, exhale and tip from the hip, 
Shifting the weight into the heels, lifting your tailbone toward the sky. And you can relax all the way down, or you can just hold here, resting on the back of your chair. And now I'd like you to just bend one knee, and then straighten the leg, and then on the other side, bend the other knee, keep the weight in the heels, and straighten the leg. And then again, bend one knee, and, and straighten the leg, and bend the other knee. So just a little dynamic stretch to relax our hips and knees. One more time on each side, bend the right knee, and maintain that tip forward, whatever that looks like for you, and straighten the leg. And last one here, bend the left knee, and straighten the leg, and walk the hands back up, work the heels and toes together. Step the feet together, and we're going to finish off our balance series with a tree pose. So now, again, the chair is on our left side. So we're starting here, sitting up nice and tall. Shoulders down and back, finding the four corners of our feet. Shifting to the left side, and now we're going to bring that right foot into position. So you might be here, just like you were in our last pose. Or you might bring that foot up higher, or you can come with me and turn that knee to the side. Bring that foot to the calf, the thigh, or the top of the thigh, or anywhere in between. One or both hands can come into prayer. Good. And then once you're here, you can reach one or both hands up toward the sky, and then part the hands and drop the shoulders. Relax your shoulders down away from the ears. Suck your belly button toward the spine. Breathe. Good. Just relax into that pose. And remember, what we're working toward here is just practicing our single leg balance. Whatever you do around that is just a bonus. So just easing into it. Now let's inhale those hands together. Exhale down through prayer. Release the leg and work out the ankles. Good. And now we'll come along to the other side. So again, you can just turn around, or you can move your chair if that's comfortable for you. And we'll stand tall on the four corners of our feet. And shift to the supporting leg, bringing that outside foot into position wherever is comfortable for you. So remember that toe can stay on the floor. The knee can remain pointed forward if the twist is no good for your joints. And when you're ready, we're going to bring the hands or hand into prayer. Stand tall, relax your shoulders. Suck that belly button toward the spine. Make sure your core is strong. And we're feeling the sole of our supporting foot and fixing that gaze on anything that's not moving six feet away or less. When you're ready, if you'd like, you can reach one or both arms up toward the sky. And then part the hands and drop the shoulders. Good, breathe deeply into that stretch. Feel your stability. And remember that you can release all or part of any pose anytime. Now let's inhale, hands together. Exhale down through prayer. Release the leg and work out the ankles. Excellent job, okay. All right, so now we're going to make our way back down to our seat through our perfect seat assisted squat with perfect alignment. So again, starting on all four corners of the feet, nice and even, shoulders down and back. Hands come anywhere except on the thighs or on the chair. Take a deep breath in, exhale, and we'll slowly release down toward the seat as slowly as we can, maintaining that alignment as we move, landing very softly, and excellent. We'll find our perfect posture once again right at the edge of our seat, sitting up nice and tall, and let's come into a little bit of upper body before we move on to lower body and then our final relaxation. So we'll start by bringing that right arm across the front of the body. Grasping just above the elbow, pressing down, drawing in. You can pat yourself on the back here if you want. Good. You can straighten that arm out if you'd like, deepening the stretch through the shoulder. I'd like you to press that right shoulder down, and you can rotate your right hand down and forward if you'd like to deepen that stretch even further. Lengthen the neck. Breathe. See if you can bring it between the shoulder blades. And now we'll bend the elbow, release the arms, extend those fingertips out to the sides. And then release, and now the left arm comes across the front of the body, we'll grasp just above the elbow, press down, draw it in, pat yourself on the back on the other side, and then lengthen the neck, and if you'd like, you can reach out with that left arm, turning the palm down and forward, breathing deeply, relaxing into that stretch as much as you can. 
And now we'll bend the elbow, release the arm, extend the fingertips out to the sides. Now we're going to reach the arm straight out in front and grasp the right wrist with the left hand. Inhale, lengthen the neck, draw that right arm out. Exhale, drop the left shoulder down toward the hip. So I'd like you to um, execute this movement without leaning from the lower body. We're nice and even across both sides of the body on the seat. And we're thinking about drawing those muscles on the back of the body, just under that shoulder, drawing them open. Good. Now let's inhale through neutral. Switch sides. Right hand grasps the left wrist. Exhale, drop the right shoulder down toward the right hip. And you can aim that left hand down toward the right knee if you want to, to deepen the stretch even further. You can move your neck around, just play with that stretch, and keep your core strong to keep the lower back safe. Good. Now let's inhale back to neutral. Exhale, release the arms, and we're going to reach out to the sides and down. Good. Open the palms forward, thumbs to the back of the room. Now I'd like you to spread the fingers, tip the wrists down and back, and allow the arms to follow. Now you can keep the arms here, or you can rest the hands on the chair, preferably behind you, beside you is fine too. And then we're just going to tip the right ear toward the right shoulder. And then inhale through neutral, exhale, tip the left ear toward the left shoulder. So this is still very effective if you just want to relax those arms slightly behind you so that we're opening up those anterior delts a little bit more. If the shoulders roll forward, we won't get anywhere near as good a stretch. So just see how much you can open up the shoulders however is comfortable for you as we come through this little dynamic stretch. Press your shoulders down away from the ears as far as they'll go. Lengthen the neck as you inhale through the center. Exhale, ear toward the shoulder. One more time in each direction. Inhale through neutral. Exhale, ear toward the shoulder. Inhale through neutral. Exhale, ear toward the shoulder. Good. And then we'll release the arms. Now we're going to reach the arms out in front and bring the backs of the hands together. Now I'd like you to just press the shoulders down, gently press the backs of the hands together, and hopefully you begin to feel a stretch through the traps here. Take a deep breath in and extend toward that front wall with your fingertips. Now exhale and curve around the upper back. So when you curve around this upper back only, we're lengthening through the fingertips toward the front wall and see if you can find that extension between the shoulder blades and just underneath the shoulders. Good, now let's come on back up. Bend the elbows, reach back, take a deep breath in. Exhale, and we're gonna reach forward again, backs of the hands together, this time cross in the other direction. So if you were right over left, it's now left over right. And we're reaching for that front wall. You can curve it around the upper back if you want to. You can even bend side to side in this pose as long as it's comfortable for you. And we're looking for that good stretch through the shoulder blades, through the upper back and spine. Good, now let's inhale, come on up. Reach back. Exhale, release the arms. Good, so now coming into hands. I'd like you to bring the right hand to the right thigh, spread the fingers, grasp the fingers with the left fingertips, and then we'll gently draw those fingers back toward you. Relax the shoulders down, sit tall. So when we come into these poses, we automatically tend to tense up just about everywhere as a protective reflex, which is a good thing, but we have to counter that in order to gain flexibility. And then we'll release, squeeze and open the hands. And then to the left side, hand comes to the thigh, and we draw those left fingertips back. We want to keep the palm down on the leg while we draw the fingertips back. And we're never pulling really hard, we're just easing into that. Good. Keep that spine straight and tall for just a little while longer. Mm -hmm. And then we'll release, squeeze it open. And now let's move those wrists around in a circle. Good, just feel that extension. And then back and forth. And now I'd like you to make a fist with both hands and then just tip those wrists in. You can even straighten your arms down. So tip the wrist in toward the elbow and then just rotate around and see if you can find that stretch in the backs of the wrists. And then we're going to open up the hands and again tip the wrists down and back, lengthen through the fingertips, reach, and I want you to see if you can feel that stretch all the way from fingertip to fingertip, especially through the biceps and the shoulders. So we should be feeling that almost through our nerve tissue as well. Breathe and release. Excellent. Now let's finish off with our hand massage. Left fingertips come to the back of the right hand, left thumb comes to the right palm. And we're going to move around in that largest muscle that controls the thumb first. Just rolling and squeezing around in a circle, looking for that largest muscle. And we're focusing always on the soft bits, moving around the bones, never over the bones. And now we'll come down through the tendons and ligaments between those knuckles, creating 
creating space through the palm, through the back of the hands. And now onto the side of the hand, squeezing and rolling in that little muscle that controls our pinky finger. Good. And now with all four fingers and our thumb, we're going to wrap that left fingers around the right thumb and squeeze and roll all the way to the tip. Same thing with each finger of the right hand, beginning at the root and squeezing and rolling all the way to the end, squeezing and rolling out all of that tension that we build up in our hands. Good. You can hold your hands down on the thighs if that's more comfortable for you. No need for tension in the neck and shoulders. And then we'll release, squeeze and open, and then just hold your hands here, relax for a moment, and notice the difference in how they feel between the one that was working and the one that was resting and also relieving, receiving some uh, fascial release. So uh, do that more often. We notice a big distinction here. Now coming along to the other side, right fingertips come to the back of the left hand, right thumb comes to the left palm, and we're going to squeeze and roll around in a circle in that largest muscle that controls the thumb. So again, your hands can rest down lower, and I want you to just uh, relax that left hand as much as you're able and just allow the right hand to do the work. And now coming down in between the tendons and ligaments, rolling and squeezing, creating space. Good. And then coming down onto the side of the hand, that little muscle that controls our pinky finger, working on any tension you find there. And then taking all of our right fingers and our thumb to the base of the left thumb and rolling and squeezing all the way to the end. And I just want you to notice how actions like this, the self myofascial release, they, they help to relax our mind as well without our having to try too hard. So you don't have to necessarily go into a meditative state to get there. You can just give yourself a hand massage when you're in a waiting room somewhere and you're good. Squeeze and roll, squeeze and open. Roll the wrists around in a circle, and we're going to finish off with our full body stretch to come into our final relaxation. So let's breathe in deep and reach up through the fingertips and toes. Exhale, bring everything into the center, curve it around the spine. And again, breathe in deep, reach up, lengthen, take up lots of space. Exhale, bring everything in, curve it around. One more time, breathe in deep, reach out and smile. Exhale, bring everything in, curve it around. And we'll come back to neutral, excellent job. So now we're going to come into our final relaxation in which we'll do a little bit of meditation. So our purpose here is to quiet the mind and you can't quiet the mind if you can't relax. So I encourage you to find socks and sweaters and whatever you need to be warm and comfortable. We will cool off now that we're no longer moving. So do find that warmth, make sure you have water nearby, and of course you are welcome to lay down on a couch or an easy chair if that's more comfortable for you. So just making it yours, and, uh, and now we're no longer sitting perfectly straight and tall, we're just finding that comfortable seated or laying down position. So we're working here in our meditation to quiet the mind first and foremost, and then beyond that we can choose our pattern of thought. So I'll walk you through our very general basic guided relaxation and then a little gratitude exercise if we have time for that at the end. So starting in our comfortable position, we'll begin by taking a deep breath in all the way down to the tips of the toes, the balls of the feet, the arches, heels and ankles, stirring up tension and exhaling it out, pressing it out of the body with focus. Breathe through the calves, the shins, the knee joints and thighs. Exhale tension all the way down to the bones. Breathe through the hips, pelvis, buttocks and lower spine. Exhale tension, feel the body relax down into the floor, into the earth. Breathe through the lower back, side body, and abdomen. As you exhale, feel the circulation and internal organs slow down, relaxing. Breathe through the middle and upper back, through the rib cage and solar plexus. As you exhale, allow the heart and lungs to slow down, relaxing. Breathe through the collarbone, shoulders, biceps, and elbows. 
Exhale tension, allowing the arms to relax at the sides. Breathe through the forearms, wrists, palms and backs of the hands. As you exhale, feel the fingertips let go of tension. Top of the spine, the base of the skull. Relax the throat. Relax the jaw. Relax the muscles of the face, around the eyes, mouth and ears. Relax the brow. And lastly, just bring your attention to the breath as you relax deeper into Shavasana. And now with the focus on the breathing, imagine inhaling deeply into the stomach into the rib cage, filling the center of the body with air. And then as you exhale, feel yourself relax just a little more. And now as you inhale, imagine breathing in clear, white, bright light, stirring up any tension that's still left in all the corners of the inside of the body. And then exhale that tension out, relaxing down. And now bringing your attention to the center of the chest and back of it. And just finding your heartbeat, connecting with that. And whether you can feel it or hear it or imagine it, doesn't matter. Just connect with it, have an awareness of it. And just appreciate that heart for being there. That rhythm, that life in the center of your being. Offer it gratitude. And just feel it appreciating you as well, reciprocating that. And then bringing our attention to the space on the inside of the body. As we fill it up with that white light, inhaling. Relaxing into it just a little more every time we exhale. And resting here in that bright open space on the inside of the body with the sensation of our heartbeat, I'd like you to just bring to mind three things that you like or love or appreciate. And it can be anything at all, no matter how small. And you can make lists of those things, or if you choose to, you can focus on only one thing and experience it with all of your senses. And just connect it with that feeling of gratitude for these things in the world that you like or love or appreciate. And as you breathe, imagine that sense of gratitude filling that space on the inside of the body, resonating with your heartbeat. Just invite that appreciation into each of your cells so that you can project it outward as well. And now you can continue with your list of things that you like, or just elaborate on that one thing. And as you breathe, just ask that feeling of gratitude to expand. Feel it press up against the lines of your body and spill over, expanding out into the room that you're in, and as it goes, covering all of those things that you enjoy, that bring you joy, that you like, that make you smile easily. And as you breathe, allow that feeling of gratitude and appreciation to expand further past the walls of your house, out into the street. And just allow that sense of appreciation to cover everything that it touches. You can imagine all of those things in the world being enveloped in that 
gratitude that you offer. And going out, covering the province and the country. You can imagine it expanding with your breath to cover the entire planet. All of those things in the world that you enjoy and appreciate. And if you like, you can take it even further and expand that feeling of gratitude out into the universe. Feeling it cover the sun and the moon and the stars. Expanding outward. Feel it overflow into everything. And now if you're able, focus on that sensation of gratitude and appreciation detaching from the objects. Just notice how it feels to be grateful, to feel appreciation for anything. How we smile more easily, maybe relax a little more. How each of your cells feels more alive. And then turn that gratitude on yourself, especially for being here, for showing up, for cultivating a sense of inner peacefulness and awareness so that you can bring that into the world. And you can rest here just enjoying that sense of gratitude and appreciation, just soaking in it. Or you can join me to come out of the meditation, gently bringing our attention back to the breathing, inhaling deeply into the ribcage and belly, and exhaling completely. And then gently bringing the attention back to the body, whittling the fingers and toes, moving the wrists and ankles around in circles. And if you're laying down, you can take your time to find your way to a comfortable seated position. Now let's take a deep breath in. Exhale and open the eyes. Namaste. Thanks so much for joining me, everyone. I hope you get to enjoy the beautiful day, and I hope to see you next time. Bye now.